Hello, welcome to Current News. I'm your host, Chris Davis. And today we're going to talk about the congressional hearing of Mark Zuckerberg. Now, I know I'm a little late getting this out, but I didn't want to be in such a hurry to upload this video. I need time to think about what I saw, time to digest it. I'm also getting used to my new uploading schedule. And also, there were some other videos that I wanted to upload for a very long time that I didn't get the chance. So I wanted to upload those first while I was thinking about this congressional hearing. Um, but with that being said, um, let's get into it. So a week ago, uh, Mark Zuckerberg had to stand in front of two committees. Um, one was an energy committee. Um, one was in front of the Senate. And... What I got from it was that our representatives, to put it nicely, are unintelligent. The reason why I say that is because when they were interviewing Mark Zuckerberg, they completely got off of track from what the real problem was. They were so fixated and so stuck on Facebook collecting user data to sell to third-party advertisers now if you've used Facebook you already know um, that's how they run their business um, if they didn't run it that way then they would have to charge users to use their platform but that's how it goes we're able to use it for free and they make money by selling our data to third-party advertisers that's how it's run but <laughs> It seems that the people in the Senate hearing interviewing Mark Zuckerberg didn't understand how Facebook operates, how Facebook makes their money. Um, if they didn't sell the advertising data um, to advertisers, then they would have to charge users to use their platform. So to me, they got completely, they were completely um, off track from what the real problem was. The questions they should have been asking Mark Zuckerberg should have been why did you ever have why did you have a policy where a, when a user consents to having their information taken their friends information is taken as well even though their friends don't know about it and they didn't even give their consent why did you ever have an app development policy such as that um, what is your app development policy right now? <laughs> what are you doing to make sure that when an app developer tells Facebook and the users they're going to use um, this data for this particular thing? And what are you going to do to make sure they don't use it for anything else other than what they told you? What are you doing to combat political advertisements from foreign countries those are the questions they should have been more focused on now the reason why I say app developer policies because if you don't remember the story um, how this whole problem happened is a, a an American Russian psychologist by the name of Alexander Kogan created an personality app for Facebook um, so with this personality app uh, 270,000 people signed up the the Facebook app policy at the time was when a user consents to have their information um, taken um, the friends who are connected to them their information is taken as well Alexander Kogan told Facebook and the users that this is only used for academic purposes um, but then um, Alexander Kogan gives it to Cambridge Analytica and Cambridge Analytica works for worked for Donald Trump in the 2016 campaign and they use that information that they got from those private users which turned out to be over 500 million users over 500 million they use that data to influence um, behavior in the 2016 election that's what happened that's why I'm so fixated on them asking questions about app developer 
on policies. And Facebook, when Mark Zuckerberg, when he was in the congressional hearing, he specifically said that he was going to audit um, all the apps that are on Facebook. And if anyone's misusing the data, uh, if anyone's using it for nefarious purposes, using it other than what they said, uh, he was going to ban them. The people in the Senate hearing should have asked him more about app developer policies because the problem was someone made an app said they were only going to use it for for this one thing but it turns out they used it for something else they needed to push on mark zuckerberg um ask him like what are you doing to make sure that if a developer tells you they're only going to use the data for this particular thing. What are you going to do to make sure they can't use it for anything else? What are you going to do to make sure they can't use that data um, for nefarious purposes or for their own self-interest? As I said earlier, um, making sure um, what are you doing to combat political ads from foreign advertisements? And another one um, that comes to my mind is um, when did you learn of this? When did you learn that Cambridge Analytica had um, private information on over 500 million users? When did you learn of this? And when did and when you learned of this, what did you do to make sure um, Cambridge Analytica um, deleted the data? What did you do? And as the story turns out, um, they learned about this 2015, and they told Cambridge Analytica to wipe the data clean, to erase it. Cambridge Analytica said, okay, um, we've deleted the data, but that's not what happened. As you, as we already know, they already used this, um, they used this information in the 2016 election. So Facebook did not make, Facebook did not do anything to make sure that the data was deleted. They just took their word for it. They didn't ask for any regulators to audit um, Cambridge Analytica. Um, they didn't get a third party audit team to make sure um, Cambridge Analytica deleted the data. They didn't sue them. They didn't do anything to make sure that the, the data was gone. They just took their word for it. And then when the story blew up with The Guardian and The New York Times, now they are working on an audit. But now it's too late. You should have done that sooner before the story broke out but the main point i'm trying to get across is our leaders got our representatives got completely off track when they were um questioning mark zuckerberg about the cambridge analytica scandal and it was almost like a complete cakewalk for him so that's just the point i'm getting across um, just to like, just summarize like what I'm saying, they should have asked more about the app developer policy. Why did you make a policy where when a user consents to having their information um, taken, their friends' information are taken as well, even though they didn't give their consent, even though they didn't know about it? What's your app development policy now? What are you doing to make sure that app developers aren't using... Um, users data for their own nefarious purposes um, did you do everything in your power to make sure that Cambridge Analytica deleted the data uh, what are you doing right now to um, suppress political ads from foreign countries like what's your policy what do you what's your strategy on that that's what they should have asked more of and I didn't think they did that. To me, they were stuck on um, Facebook um, getting user data and selling it to third-party advertisers. That's how they run their business. That's how they make their money. And if you go like to Google, you use Twitter, they all do the same thing. So to me, that was really dumb that they were stuck on that, that they didn't know how... Facebook made its money. They didn't know the functions of Facebook from private setting to public. So if they didn't know any of this, why don't why didn't they get a specialist? Why didn't they get an expert? It's just to me they were just just throwing questions out there. And yes, Mark Zuckerberg is like under oath, but 
according to like the law, the Fifth Amendment, he doesn't have to incriminate himself. It's them who have it's the Senate who has to like bring the proof and the evidence. And to me, like they had him, like they had him, but they just let him slip away. It was like a present, like wrapped in like a gift bow. Like they had him, and then somehow, some way, they found a way to screw it up. So those are my thoughts on it. Um, that's all we have for today. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Did you watch any of the congressional hearing with Mark Zuckerberg? Um, tell me what you liked. Tell me what you didn't like. Let me know in the comment section below. Also, go into the description box and follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. I have the links there in the description box. In the description box. Also, if you really want to help this video, if you really want to help this channel, please hit the like button and subscribe. And all of you have a great day.